Hey, this is Stacia, and yeah, I'm actually on camera, and we are going to play a training game on chess.com. Don't get used to me being on camera. I'm on camera too much as it is. <laughs> but okay, let's pick 1510 and see what we get here. I taught chess all day, did a tournament with my chess kiddos. So of course I want to play chess, like why not? <laughs> Um, ooh, are we going to smith more a gambit? Oh, maybe. Guess so. They seem pretty confident. Let's see what they have for us. Knight to f3. Alright, and, um, obviously this move... Take a blunder with knight f6 here. I think knight f6 is... No, no. That's probably okay. Iffy, though. Bishop b7's probably okay. I'll just castle. Now, I need to stay ahead on the clock. I ran into... Um, I don't want to say a good friend of mine. I don't know him that well, but an awesome friend, Damon Rucker, who was really encouraging me to follow my intuition more in rapid chess. And I fought his advice for a little bit, and it worked really well. So I want to continue with that. Do I go queen d2 here? That's my intuition. I just want to protect the, the bishop. I don't, you know, we don't want any surprises on our bishop. Okay. So this is the, the Shevenigan pawn structure. <coughs> you should know it's Shevenigan because you'll hear that from me again. <laughs> okay, so that's a bad joke I tell all my students every time. Now I'll tell it to you guys. Rick, do you one? It's always right against this structure. It's one thing I learned from Mark Esterman's book. Okay, now F6, now knight F6, it's probably right. So we're getting sort of a main line, but with the queen on C7. So actually, actually it's not a main line at all. I think this is dubious. It's a slight critical moment, so I'll spend hopefully not too much time. But I'm definitely thinking about e5 or knight b5. I think these moves are both possible. Maybe not. I mean, if I go knight b5, There's queen b8, bishop f4. That actually looks annoying, doesn't it? If knight b5, queen d8, I mean, then e5 for sure. So I think knight b5 might be good. I think knight b5 is a good move. If it's not good, then it's bad. <laughs> That's how's, how's that like deep logic? If it's not good, it's bad. Um, but it's true. Like knight b5 is not a move I play unless it, it makes sense. And I think it does. So my intuition is to play it. What else could they do? I just want to check. Like if queen b6, I mean, I probably just take the pawn there. I don't think they, they don't have anything. So I think knight b5 is the move. I'm going to play it and let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. I thought bishop f4 here. And if the castle...
Are we just attacking d6 too many times? Like, what do you do? Yeah, e5. Okay, that's good. We provoked e5. Now I have option here. I can go bishop e3 or I can go bishop g5. And honestly, I think bishop g5 might be more correct. I'm not sure. Okay, if I go bishop e3, let me go h6, knight c3. Hmm. Like I, I want the knight in there. That's what I want. Um, they're probably both fine. I don't think there's a big difference. Bishop e3 seems more... I don't know. <laughs> Just pick one, Stacia. <laughs> I'm looking at some stuff. Hang on. Um, okay. I don't think it matters. I just keep look. I was just checking. I'm not blundering anything, but I don't think so. So that, that's part of my problem. I need to follow my intuition more, right? Like I was about to play this move, and then I stopped. And like I'm like, oh, I gotta double check. Are they gonna kill me? Like, and I was seeing stuff like this. Okay, I think just knight c3 here, though. Why not? Just knight c3. The idea is to take and sink the knight in. Should be okay, right? Should be fine. Yeah, so I like, I went to a school called Menlo Park Academy, taught the advanced plus younger kids today. It's <laughs> some of my favorite kids in that class. Just love them. They're amazing. And then I decided to come home and I've been running, I'm going to run weekly Friday night tournaments for my students because I'm going to go full time at Progressive Chess again. So I have to end my private sessions with some of these students. So what I want to do is gather them on Fridays and offer that especially for the parents, because I know they plan their, their fall, and I don't want to just leave them hanging. I'm too considerate for that, so I want to do something. Plus, I, I like the kids. I want to keep working with them. What do we do here, though? Um, I mean, I'll probably just take the night. I don't see why not. The other move is bishop e3, then why did I go here? So, so let's just do it and go knight d5. I think they can take with the bishop. They're probably thinking about it. If they take with a pawn, I think I'm pretty happy if they do that. 
creating a bunch of weaknesses over here. They're not really in a position to go rook g8 and kill me on the king side. I mean, look at this. That's not exactly... Okay, maybe the bishop, but the, the queen and the rook like this and the knight here. No, no, I'm not scared of that. So they can feel free to take with a pawn. Okay, let's not, let's not think about this. This is the move. I can go in here, attack that rook. It'll at least make their position weird. Okay, they go here. So if I go here and take, take, they have knight d4. I think then I go here, right? Oh, I can't, they check me. Win the queen. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but I can always take the knight then play here. Nah, it's not correct. I want to take that for free. That's what I want to do. Like pin the pawn and take that for free, but it doesn't work. So instead, what do we do here? I mean, they're about to play that. I probably could sack the exchange, but is that what I want to do? So if here it takes, it takes here. Oh, actually, I can play this. I, I forgot the bishop's guarding e2. And I always have bishop f1 if they attack it. So I think I am going to play h3. It's a little bit provocative. And I don't like the pin, obviously. <laughs> I don't want the pin here, so... I'm gonna go with this. I just see some, I like this move queen g3 here, attacking that. Put some pressure and then I'm not sure how they deal with that. It's not so easy, right? It's not completely easy. Like king h8 maybe is the move. So down on time though, the bane of my existence, the, the chess clock, the bane of my existence. <laughs> it's kind of like my Zelda Majora's Mask. It's just like that, that moon is looming over you. Like that's how I feel about the chess clock. So they played this. Do I want to go G4? That's what they're asking me. I am crazy enough to do it. If I do g4, whoops, what is wrong? I'm not seeing arrows. There we go. Um, I have enough pieces by my king that intuitively I feel like I don't have to be too worried. So like if they sack, but if I go here and they go bishop g6, how do I feel about that? Um, What other moves are there? I could just ignore it and go rook c1. That's one thing. It's probably not a bad idea. Rook a c1. Let's get that last piece like sort of active. And this is also a move. Kind of forces that. Oh, and then there's a fork. Oh my gosh, that's the way to punish it, isn't it? I think I like knight g6. Knight g6 looks great. So knight g6, they take here, take here, then knight d4, 
then here. Now I'm not threatening the bishop. But my my bishop's still there. I'm also blocking d5. I think this is the way to go. <laughs> my intuition says play it. Okay. I'll play it. I have seven minutes. That's more than I would normally have at this point. <laughs> so we'll take it. Um, but I just like it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just like a for I'm forking the rook and the forking square. Gotta love that. It's just that black has some temple moves here. They could take, take knight d4 and queen g3 and um I like my position seems good I like this so They're going to sack the exchange. Interesting. I'm definitely taking that because this just misplaces their rook as well. So why would I not do that? So I will. Okay, I think we're doing well. Now, rook to the C file. Looks very natural. Let's just play it. I want to save my time for more critical moments. I don't think this is one of them. And then think of my opponent's time. That's a good idea. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna pin though and I mean, I'm up, I'm up material now, which is good for Smith Moore Gambit. <laughs> so I may have to do some defending now. I think it's okay to be more positional now because they have two bishops, but I'm up a point of material. I've got the exchange, but I'm minus a pawn. The rook on a8 is not well placed, but they could quickly change that with something like rook c8. If I get the chance, I'll probably play bishop d5, because why wouldn't I do that? Maybe it's not that great, I'm not sure. This pawn is pinned. I thought they might play this, which makes sense. So if I move my bishop, I'm actually, my rook is actually kind of hanging. But the thing is, they would have to move their knight out of the way first. And then I could take um, the queen first. So, so if I move my bishop, it actually pins that knight, which is why I just am drawn to I'm just drawn to this move. Doesn't seem like a strong move though. What if they go here attacking my my queen? I take their queen, but they take me with check. I come back. 
they take, I take. Hmm. I gotta think about this. Hmm. This is going to sound crazy, but I think I like G4. I'm going to go with it. And now bishop d5. <laughs> this is what I came up with. <laughs> I don't know if it's good, but we'll find out. Okay, they moved their queen away. Makes sense. Now if I push here, they're actually attacking that again, so that's one bad thing. I think I should take the, the knight. I'm giving them two bishops, I realize this, but yeah, maybe that was my best piece. Okay, that's a little hasty, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe that was wrong. I was just seeing that if they take this way, I can play queen takes a6. It's definitely worth a pawn. So, but they'll, actually that works no matter where, what. <laughs> okay, which I did, just realized. <laughs> so take, take, and take on a6. Mm, they take on e4. Okay. Honestly, what I want to do is g5. If they take, I take, but they take with check. I don't know. Doesn't seem right to me. Okay, maybe we go. Um, I mean, can I take on a six? I think I can. They take here, the knight is hanging, but then I take the rook of check, so so they do something else, I don't know what, I'm going to do it. I like the fact that I have a, a tempo, so we're keeping the initiative here, learning the initiative is very important. Or also material. I'm 
I've got this pest a pawn now, but very little time, which is also very important. I'm also attacking that. I don't know if I would actually take it, but I'd have to take with a rook, and then they can take here, but then I don't know. So I better think about what's going on. I don't think they can take any four. If they go here, okay, so they protect it. Okay, that pins that pawn though. Can I take that now? Because if they take, I take the rook. So if I do this, oops, <laughs> okay. Um, so if I take that, they could take here, and then I take their queen, right? Seems reasonable to me. I hope this is right. I'm low on time, so I really don't have time to make sure. I just like it. They resigned. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't sure about it. Glad you were. <laughs> All right. Um, let's look at the game review. Why not? Um, can, how's it look for you guys? Good. Okay. I'm not in the center, but okay. I'm new to this camera thing. So, <laughs> okay. I'm on camera with my students all the time, but this is obviously different. We're in a video. All right. So let's go. Um, Okay, at 87.2%, that is 77%. Um, let's just do the quick review. I don't want to spend a lot of time. Um, okay. Queen E2 is inaccurate, really. Okay, let's retry it. <laughs> it is. Am I supposed to go bishop b3? Wow, is there something like um, good here? What? what could it be? Is it knight b5 immediately? It is. I mean, I would assume it kind of transposes, but yeah, like queen b8, and then what? So I don't have to play queen e2, so queen e2 is kind of a waste. So then we just, what? It says g3? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this seems like new play to me, like just new play. Like, well, I'm going to go g3 and bishop f4. Um, I've never seen this. I, I'm tempted not to believe it. It's, it's not, it's a weaker engine. So I don't think I'm going to go for that one. Calvin Blocker, tell me if that's wrong. I don't, I mean, g3 and bishop f4 after knight b5. I can't, I can't imagine that's right, but okay. Um, I have a lot to learn, so maybe it is. So I want queen e2, which I thought was good. And after rook d1, knight f6. Okay. Knight b5 is right. Okay, I was thinking here that knight b5 is the most precise. It is. Top engine move. Followed by bishop f4. That's what I played. E5. Okay. I kind of like forgot E5 was normal. <laughs> but once I saw it, I'm like, yeah, this is normal. It feels good. Um, so I went bishop g5 here. Bishop b3 is the other move. They're both fine. Um, a6. Oh, it doesn't like knight c3. Why not? I see why. We can take here. Take now. If you take with a bishop, yay, we win a pawn with check. That should be really good. 
um, if if we take and they just take our knight, I mean, it is a question because they're attacking this too. Then I take, they take, and I take, attacks the queen and attacks the pawn. And that queen's like actually very awkward now. They have to go like here and then I probably just take this. This is actually not what the engine gives. It gives rook d5. <laughs> okay, I'm totally confused, why? <laughs> we're gonna take and check and wow. And we're controlling this a bit too and white's better. So yeah, I have, you know, this game's a, a great reminder that if someone plays a pawn move attacking a piece, you, you don't necessarily have to move the piece. There can be some danger levels things like this. I don't think I would have found this one though. Like take, 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 and take check. Or it's not even check, it's just tax the queen, queen a7. And then you have to envision the pawn there. I don't know. I don't, it's a rapid game. So, okay. Knight to c3. I took, this is actually the best move. Great. Knight d5, that was a normal idea though. Bishop g4, h3 it likes. Yeah, and it says black should play knight d4, which is what I thought they would do. And um, in this position, actually, I thought they would <laughs> take and then do this. But once again, it's the same theme. Look at that. I attack their bishop, they attack my queen. My knight's also pinned. So here we play knight takes f6. Check. They take. And then we sack the exchange. Wow. Now this theme I've seen before and I've done it before. <laughs> so I may have found this because it's at least familiar. I don't play stuff that's not that familiar <laughs> unless I'm really sure. And then here we go, here they could go, Bishop takes f3, attacking our queen. We take back, they take our rook. But now, yeah, queen takes f6, and this light square bishop is amazingly good, pinning the pawn, and I guess, man, it would be hard for me to play this way, though, I have to say. It would be hard for me to realize that this is, this is okay for us. I mean, we're plus two. I mean, we're, we're down two points of material, the exchange specifically. But on the other hand, their king's super weak, and I guess our rook is going to just... That's what I think he will do. So, all right. Um, if we go back, this is why I love chess, though. I like to learn. Bishop h5. Wow, and it doesn't like knight g3. Thinks I should have gone g4 immediately, which I thought about. But I played knight b6, and after queen c7... I mean, yeah, it's a mistake. They're just giving me the rook. So they should have played knight d4 now, which I was looking at. Yeah, it turns out this is good for them. What was I going to do here? I had an idea. I think I was going to go g4. Oh, my queen's hanging. Never mind. Um, yeah, what do I do here? I'd have to sec the exchange it. I don't know what else to do. If I go here, they fork me. Um, if I go here. Yeah, engine says black slightly better. They take, I can't take with the queen, so I take back this way. It's not the end of the world because we are the ones that will use the G file, but it's, um, 
it doesn't even give her a guy seven. Wow. It just gives bishop g5. What? I would definitely take. Okay, this is like equal-ish, but black's on the better side, according to the engine. To me, it just looks like a game. Queen c7, though, in the game. So I went knight takes a eight, of course, take that rook. Okay, so I'm up material. It's not how I play, but hey, you know, you got to do what the position demands. Rook c1's a blunder. Oh my gosh. I should have played g4 here, but okay. They missed it too. They have to play knight d4 once again. So this knight d4 thing is like super strong. I was missing it more than I thought. I was looking at it, so it's weird. So I went g4 here, which is wrong. I should have went bishop d5. It's okay though. Actually, white's better here, so I don't mind that. I mean, if I see a move and I think white's better and I play it and the engine says, oh, but wait, that's not best. I'm okay with that. That's okay. So bishop g6 and I went bishop d5 is actually correct. Pressure that the knight. And now I thought take, yep, this is correct. I'm glad to see that. And I took the pawn, second best. Knight d2 is the other one, knight d2. What is that? What is knight d2? <laughs> I'm gonna go here. I think I'm going here. It's an outpost provided by the rook. And on top of that, it pressures the center. And it also hits this and, okay, I think that's the idea behind knight d2. I, I don't think I would think to play that slowly here, but, so I grabbed a pawn. It's materialistic, but it's also good. And after queen d7, I play this move. Ooh, it is winning. Rick takes d6. I saw that pretty quickly, so I'm pretty happy about that. I had two minutes on my clock, and I saw Rick takes d6, like, right away. And I spent a few seconds, but then played it. And um, sure enough, this is winning. So, um, yeah, that's it. They resigned. Game could have continued like this. I mean, it still looks playable. I mean, like, I, I wouldn't resign as black. I would try to keep going, but hey, they made it easy for me. That's why I say never resign. They just made it easy for me, right? I had a minute left on my clock. They had 10 minutes, and they just, like, let me run away with it. Thank you. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was great to, um, you know, talk to you guys on camera, I guess, and... Uh, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.